Hi everyone, in this video we're going to define the trigonometric functions. So trig trigonometric functions. So we'll start by drawing the x-y plane. So here is the y-axis and here is the x-axis. And then we have a line that passes through the origin like this. And then we'll pick a point on our line. So here's our point. And we'll call that x comma y. And then obviously we have to have an angle. So here will be our angle, so theta. And so now we can draw a triangle. So this here is y, that's the distance there, that's the height. And this distance here is x. And then we'll call this distance here from the um, origin to the point, we'll call that r. And then using the theorem of Pythagoras, we know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. To solve for r, we can take the square root of both sides. We do get a plus or minus, but we only want the plus because r is a distance. Now using this information, we can define the trigonometric functions in terms of our angle theta. Okay. So the first trig function we'll define is called the sine function. So it's spelled S-I-N, and then it's the sine of theta. So you could put parentheses here if you want to. You don't have to. You can simply write it like this if you like. So the sine of theta is equal to y over r. The next one is called the cosine function. So this is cosine of theta. This time I won't put parentheses. And this is x over r. And then we have what's called the tangent of theta. The tangent of theta is simply y over x. Okay, basically if you divide these, you get tangent. Okay, so notice that tangent of theta, you should check this, is sine theta over cosine theta. Very useful uh, to know that. If you flip these, if you look at the reciprocal of these functions, you get, in this case, the cosecant function, cosecant of theta, is r over y. So basically it's the reciprocal of sine. So this would mean that the cosecant of theta is 1 over sine. And then uh, the reciprocal of cosine is called the secant function. So secant of theta, that would be r over x. So again, the secant function is the reciprocal of cosine, so it's 1 over cosine. Really, really useful um, to know them like this uh, as well. And then you have what's called the cotangent function. That would be x over y. And again, uh, cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it's 1 over tangent. Now, it's, it's worth knowing uh, cotangent in another way. So here's tangent, and it's sine over cosine. So cotangent is also cosine over sine. So useful to know uh, all of this. It's all super, super important. So these are the six uh, trig functions of our angle theta. So you notice given a point uh, in the xy plane, uh, we can find uh, a theta, and then from there we can find the trigonometric functions. Let's go ahead and um, do an example of actually you know, finding the trig functions. So let's try this one. So ex, ex means example. Um, so we're told that the terminal side of theta, so terminal side of theta passes through, and let's say it passes through 5 comma negative 12. Okay, and we'll find, find the trig functions, find the trigonometric functions of of this uh, angle, so find trig functions. Solution. So we don't have to draw a picture, we can, but we really don't have to. So, so x here is 5, right, and then y is negative 12. So we have x and y, now we just need r. r is the square root of x squared plus y squared, so it would be 5 squared plus negative 12 squared. Okay, because it's x squared plus y squared. And so that's 25 plus 144. So r is the square root of 169. So r is equal to 13. So now we're going to use this information 
to answer the questions, right? To find the trig functions. Super, super easy. Just plugging in the numbers. So the first one we can do is maybe sine. So the sine of theta. We said that was y over r, right? Y over r. So y is negative 12. And r is uh, 13. r is 13 right here. So the sine of theta is negative 12 over 13. The cosine of theta, that's x over r. So that'll be 5 over 13. And then the tangent of theta, that's going to be y over x. So negative 12 over 5. So negative 12 over 5. To find the reciprocal functions, we just flip these. So the cosecant of theta is negative 13 over 12. Just flip it. The uh, secant of theta is 13 over 5, so we just flip it. And the cotangent of theta is negative 5 over 12. That's it, we just flip it. And that's the final answer. By the way, um, it's pretty easy to memorize that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, because they both have the word tangent in them. But what about these? The way I do it is, okay, we have sine theta, so what's the reciprocal? Well, it's the one that starts with the other letter, <laughs> so C. We have cosine of theta. Well, what's the reciprocal? Well, it's the one that starts with the other, le other letter, so secant. So the letters are opposite, right? It's the one that starts with the other letter. So hope that made sense.